We are here in the Alafi Hospital in Yemen. We are here in the Alafi Hospital in Yemen. It is in the isolation center for diarrhea. And uh, every day there are about 40 cases coming to the center. And we, they have discovered six cases of having positive cholera disease. This is a very serious situation which is affecting the humanitarian situation in Yemen. Very serious situation to talk to us about the medical condition in Yemen, which is affecting not only the people in Sana'a and the people in, uh, in uh, the districts around Sana'a, but actually even here in Hudayeda in the Alfi Hospital. The situation, the humanitarian situation in Yemen is catastrophic. The humanitarian situation in Yemen is catastrophic. The humanitarian situation in Yemen is catastrophic. More than 20 million people are suffering of severe food shortage, clean water supply, medical equipment, medicine, and other facilities. Our urgent appeal to the international humanitarian community to intervene. Our appeal is to the Secretary General of the United Nations, the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, the Secretary General of the uh, Organization of Islamic Cooperation to come here to visit those individuals who are suffering badly from bad uh, medical conditions, nutritional conditions, security and others. So we thank the United Nations for raising 1.1 billion dollars few weeks ago for Yemen, but we need it to be translated as soon as possible to come here in a program. In Taiz, in Sana'a, in Adam, in Tahama, in Bayeda, in Eb everywhere in Yemen. All the districts of Yemen are suffering badly from the bad humanitarian situation. And this is what we need the international community to the, 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 the direct its attention to the humanitarian catastrophe in Yemen. 20 million people are suffering. 20 million people are suffering for years. But only now, and this is at the edge of becoming a catastrophe. We need the help today for tomorrow. Tomorrow could be very late. Tomorrow could be very late. Tomorrow could be very late. We can go and visit as many districts as we can, as many hospitals as we can, as many patients as we can. But what is the outcome of them? We need the money which has been pledged by all the, our countries and the organizations to be translated into a medical response, food response, shelter response, water response, and others. Yemen needs the help now, today, not tomorrow, not next week, but to wait for decisions by some people who are sitting in high offices in different parts of the world. Yemen is suffering, 20 million people who need the help now. We need the help now, we need the help now.